I'm waiting for the cue from uh, the timekeeper over there, Jason. He's got it. He's going to give you a chi sign like in the... <laughs> feel like I'm on TV. <laughs> All right, with that, we're going to call the meeting together for the Finance Committee, which is the first one of the new year. And uh, now that we're called to order, I guess I'll ask for any public comment or committee comments. Looks like none. Uh, number three on the agenda, fraud risk discussion, potential fraud risk or actual fraud risk within the organization. Anything to report there, Ty? Nothing to report. All right, that was quick. All right, number four on the list, the SRF Loan Application Assistance. Um, I take it that's you, Ty. Uh, sure can be. This was just asked to be placed on this agenda um, going forward. We do have several projects that may qualify for SRF uh, okay. funding assistance. Um, a lot of that application is, is project specific requires knowledge of the projects and how to apply them. Um, I would imagine our first step is to reach out to Krager and Stewart to see if they have someone on staff familiar with the process. As, as, as I said earlier, it, it is project driven. Sounds like show, it needs to be sort of shovel ready type stuff. Is that what you're saying? Typically, sometimes they do have some money for the design, but oftentimes that, that isn't included and it's just for the construction. Um, portion of that project. Stan, is this, you requested this to be on here, didn't you? Um, I've been talking about it a lot, but I think it was Mike. Mel that actually requested it specifically to put it on. Mike? Oh, I, I think it was Mel that requested specifically okay. to, and, and it's just because he got his mic on before I did. Okay. I, I think All it's right. something that I'm, I'm very interested in. Um, the That's that state loan for low interest rates. Is that what that oh, is? Oh, correct. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. And, and and I think Krieger and Stewart is sort of a natural. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And 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 uh, one thing or another. Although Mel has mentioned uh, once or twice before that at the Aqua meetings there are always people there who are marketing their skills at. Uh, um, you know, working the, the problems of working with the state right. and in and, and both grants and loans. Um, and, and, it, and it may actually be that um, even though they're clearly they are directly project related, right. a lot of it is busy work and administrative yeah. work. Uh, and it might be that it would be uh, beneficial to look at uh, uh, someone in addition to Krieger's work, but getting sort of their input first to see they may not actually want to go through all the administrative stuff and be more um, more inclined to work with someone else uh, because there is a lot of the project oriented information that's required but my understanding is that it is an administrative nightmare yeah um, but it's with the state and, I can imagine and, and I'm not sure we want to pay Krieger Stewart their their level of, of salaries to, to do uh, that kind of work. I, I did go on the internet yesterday and find that uh, the, uh, uh, I've got a copy, here's a copy of, they finally released the, without well, I said, it's ju just actually, uh, we, we just got into fiscal 23, so. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> you know, um, Jason, you wanna pass that down to Ty? Um, I was I was a little afraid what was the the interest rate would be for this year, uh, but it, it it went up significantly from 2022 to 2023. But it's still at 2.1 percent. Right. Yeah. And and I don't know that we could possibly get a, a loan in and uh, for this fiscal year. But my feeling is it probably go down next year because interest rates will be going down again. Are there? Uh time limits on these things? In other words, can, can you just apply for them when you're in need of the money? In other words, or do they only do them certain times of years, you know, Stan, or? Oh, no, you can apply, you can apply any okay. time of the year. And my understanding is that you always are assigned a coordinator with the state. As soon as you show interest and start putting paperwork in, before you get the application done, you're assigned a coordinator um, and and you work with them constantly, and so it's whenever you're ready 
to get a loan, they're willing to work with you as what well. and that and by the way, the city is doing this right now. So they're so they're familiar with it. So they well, yes, no, I wouldn't expect a lot of help from them. No, <laughs> uh, but but on yeah. the other hand, um, we do have local people doing this and. Uh, well, that's, I mean, it's, it, Ty, this type of thing is probably administrative wise is going to be burdensome, is my guess. So you, there's no harm in asking Krieger and Stewart if, oh, no, if, they, absolutely. if they do it themselves or they recommend, is there somebody right. that does it? You're, you're basically talking about people that handle uh, such, such like handling and writing grants and going through all the mess and all that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. And in fact, they may actually have somebody in mind that they work with yeah. doing this. Okay. I mean, so you don't know, but, but I, would, I would agree they would be the first person to reach out to just to get their feeling so what we need is projects <laughs> i don't well, think i don't we, think we have I mean, a problem that, with that do we you know, we, we did have in our yeah. budget yeah you know, three three projects we said that we were okay uh going to uh look at and and of course uh, what we need to do is being sure that we start early enough so that we if we can get a state revolving fund loan that we can get it for those first three projects. I like the idea of talking with uh, Krieger and Stewart just to see where they are on this, if yeah. they know somebody and what's involved and such. Right. Because well, I think Don already has, by the okay. way. Okay. All right. Um, well, I mean, a, a two-minute phone call saying, "Have you done this before?" <laughs> oh yeah, we do that. You know, okay. and that was about the extent of it, as far as I recall. Well, it's definitely better rates than we get through bond issues and everything else, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's. it's Looking at that, probably less than half. Really? Yeah. Well, that's then that's well worth it. If we got and the three projects they take it are major projects that, that you had on mind. Right? They, they they are. They're they're three large ones. We may be reconsidering some of those just based on recent events. Yeah. That may there may be another project that wasn't listed that may we may fill. Oh. We'll look at it and see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, that brings up another thing. Is um, obviously we've got somewhat of an emergency going on right now on the yeah. 30 inch pipeline. I was wondering if there was um, emergency, state emergency funds for doing any of this and if we've actually made any contacts with the state to look for emergency funding. Yeah, my understanding is it would be have to be declared an emer like a disaster like yeah. the Cal OES like with um, the earthquake. That's why I asked a while back, could this be yeah. attributed somehow to the earthquake? And there's no way we could that, do that after That's already years. been closed out. It's already we closed out and everything, it. yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, the state's got a lot of money. <laughs> and, um, and, and, and I would feel real bad if we didn't at least look into, um, do they have any? Is it available? And, and how many knot holes do you have to jump through to get it? There's, there's no harm in asking. That's the same thing. I'd, I'd go to Chuck on that, Chuck Krieger, and, and they may be familiar with if it oh, exists. They might, yeah, they, they might probably be familiar with that well as are. well. Yeah. They may have tapped into that right. kind of money. I'll, I'll send an email to our uh, engineer with the State Water Resources Control Board. That, yeah. And see what he says. Great. You got a, do you have a regular contact with him on the State Water Resources Board? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. A handy one to have. All right, anything else on this? Uh, is this something you want to bring up for discussion at the board meeting for any reason or just update the board on it, Stan? Um, or are we just yeah, hanging? I think we should update the board in terms of recommending that we contact Krieger and Stewart right. first, and then and then go on from there. Okay. All right. If if that's what do you think, Ty? You want to bring it to the board now, or you want to hang in until you have more information? I, I think let us reach out to Krieger and Stewart and get more okay. firm information. Before. All right. We can report back next month then, or something like that. Yeah. I, I mean, even, I guess in my finance report on, on at the board meeting, I can just just inform the board. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we were talking a phone call. Of, yeah. You know, if, if you find a phone call, and there's no reason why that can't be done. Yeah, and if you find something out, he can report it. And if he doesn't, then, yeah, I agree. And that way, you could report on the phone call. Yeah. That would be good. But the board meeting's right around the corner, isn't it? Mm, next Monday. Monday. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll probably be talking to him tomorrow about Thank the emergency me. anyway. So, all right, are we done with this? Move on to five financial statements. <clears throat> okay, halfway through the year, so through December of 2022, um, our revenues are coming in short, about 422,000. We have we saw a huge decrease in water usage last month. Yeah. Um, the previous months were down a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um, expenditures 
we're at nine million. We're one hundred twenty three thousand under budget. Um, so we're still at a net negative eight hundred thousand, but that's three hundred thousand less than we had anticipated. So we we need to start watching that. Of course, we do have a planned Prop two eighteen hearing for new rates that should yeah. make up that difference if approved okay. at that time. So um, capital expenditures to date two point seven million of that two million is COP funded, okay. and debt service principal five hundred fifty five thousand. What's, what is it, water conservation that's causing the revenue? Is it mostly if, if people click to water conservation more than they already have? What's going on? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, it was a cooler month last month as well. Yeah. Cooler than and all the rain we're getting. <laughs> some of the rain. And I, of course, I think just the, the talk of the water shortage, people are kind of cutting back. Yeah. And of course, you know, commercial had to cut back, but we're seeing it across the board with, that, that's with right. residential that's as well. Yeah. And we're going to, obviously that's going to reflect in, in the next year's coming budget, I'm sure. And we're going to see more of that. Right. Yeah. It, it, it's a good thing, you know, because it's what we expect from the community. And I think the water district ratepayers have always been good in, in realizing they need to conserve. And uh, I certainly appreciate it. But uh, it, it makes it tough some time for the, the finances when you have a plan laid out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anything, Stan, on the finances? All right, hearing nothing on that. I'm just glancing through real quick. Uh, accounts payable, disbursements, I see that's attached here. Anything on the ordinary? I don't spot anything. Um, there's there's a few. I mean, of course, we've got the usual Banner Bank, RSH, Krager Stewart. Uh, we do have some for Hildebrand Consulting, the 13860, that's for the rate study. That's right, yeah. What page are you on? No, it's the second. He's he's, on, he's yeah. on this one here. It's it's near. It's it's near. It's the accounts payable. The second page. Second page. Yeah, second page. Yeah. Page two. Yes. Well, we do have uh, seventy about seventy three thousand to on stock construction for patching. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see that. We have our annual payment to Springbrook for the financial system. That's sixty-eight thousand. Okay. Uh, the next page, there's the XIT solutions. That's we had to replace our uh, security cameras, update okay. and upgrade. So those are sort of one-time cost of yeah come in. For three years. That's for three years. Let's see, Banner Bank. That's a loan payment. Is that correct? Or Banner Bank is the. Uh, escrow for the RSH um, company that's doing the tanks and booster station. Oh, okay. All right. Gotcha. So, so the retention goes into an escrow. Okay. And Hildebrand, I know that. Krieger and Stewart, a lot going on. Obviously, all the legal costs are there. Yeah. Uh, that's done. Uh, Royal Industrial, I'm sorry. RSH construction, that's uh, the, that's the tanks and booster. Yeah. 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 That's what I thought. Um, quick question. I, I, it's been brought up, and I, I've been, I'm seeing it back and forth now uh, in the paper about the cost of legal for the adjudication. You saw that it was brought up at the, at the GA meeting, and it's brought up at the city, and Renee Westlock is pushing this thing. And I, I read the article that was done by uh, Pat Ferris, where it seemed to confuse it more and more. And, and I don't know whether we can do this, Ty. It may just be a call to, to Jim. Can they actually break out the costs that have been charged to us because of the adjudication? I assume that um, the one here for Everett, uh, I saw it down here. Murphy yeah. and Everett. Murphy and Everett. That's all adjudication, I'm sure. I would is. think it is. Is there any part of uh, of uh, McMurtry, Harstock, the other when one Jim comes under? Is there any yeah. part of that that goes there? Yes. Can he figure that out for us? Um, I know he lists each. I, I know he keep them through. Yeah. So um, I, I don't know. It's something that you need to do. I think our the law firms can both come up to us and say, from this date to this date, here's what we spent on it. I think we need that in our pockets as information. I don't know if they want to bring it up in a board meeting, but it'd be nice to have that figure known because if it's becoming a contention, and and I always try to 
to get ahead of these things if possible. Because I would like to know this is, is what have we spent on the adjudication? And they can probably do a prediction, but you know, for when we have, I don't think he's listening. When you have uh, the county listening and they come up and say, oh, they're spending well over a million dollars just on adjudication. Uh, you know, I don't know that it's accurate or not, or is he pulling a, a number out of our total cost for, for legal, which I think he probably is. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, most, he, the most of the numbers I've seen up to this date have been much lower than what I thought. Yeah. Be. But on the other hand, we haven't actually started doing a lot either. Uh, there's been quite a bit, uh, but I think... But it's starting to ramp up. It'd be nice if we could have that number in our pocket mm -hmm. because it goes along, you know, with what with, with Renee's trying to gig the public on is the water district is wasting a whole lot of money over the ratepayers' money. Mm -hmm. And I, I think if we could account for it and say, here's what the adjudication is costing us, and then, uh, you know, heck, heck, I would like to, I don't know if Chuck will be able to pull this off, I would like to know how much money that is being paid uh, for Keith to do the work of the GA. That, that should be, well, we'll be able to FOIA that, if nothing else. But I, that's a figure I think I like. I'm gonna see if Chuck can get. Is I like to see what and there's reasons behind this because of what you're reading in a paper, you know, and what Keith Lemieux is. He's always touted as the the GA representative, right? And I'm, I, I thought he worked for the city. So so just so we protect ourselves, if we have that adjudication number in hand, I think that'll be worth it. So don't spend a lot of time on. It. You might just get up with Jim and and McMurtry yeah. just they can do it, do it buddy. Yeah. Well, I I think we need to talk to Jim. <laughs> Yeah. Figure out what's the best way of presenting it, though, too. Yeah, I don't know if I want to present it we yet. Need, because it's sensitive. Yeah, it's sensitive information, yeah. but, I, yeah. but I think what happens yeah. if we just get the number because... Well, we, we need to be transparent, yeah. I agree, yes. but we also want to make sure that we're not divulging... Exactly. So when Renee comes up and says, how much have you spent on this? I, I think that's, that, that's basically, it's, it's, it's public knowledge because it's our records. Right. It's just, and I think that when we sit here and say, we're not sure, we don't know, it involves a whole lot of things. But as a water district, I think we know that number. Yeah. I'm sure they do. Oh. They, 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 every minute they put down as a charge sure. from the county. We pay the bills. We pay the bills. <laughs> and I think it's fair to have that. So if she was to come up one day and ask us, we can say, yeah, here's how much it is. Because I just think that, that fumbling around and... Well, yeah. it's better to have one number from right. the water district right. rather than having five, yeah. six, or seven people all giving... Well, it might be, you know, type... That, that I don't think is appropriate. And then, and then, then we just, we're just prepared to answer that question. But before we answer the question, like at the meeting on Monday, I'd make sure you have it right, which means it might be a month before we get it. But let's try and get it together if we can. Was well, that it's... something you want staff to request? Yeah, I, th I, think, I think you should. I don't think it's going to hurt. You know, I think it's enough. I've seen it enough now. It started here. Then it went to the GA. Mm -hmm. Then she moved it up to the city. And she's looking for a number that says how much is being spent on the adjudication. And, and people are giving her numbers that aren't us. <laughs> yes. And that bothers me. So I don't think it hurts to have it. You can, yeah, I'd, I'd go on to Jim and say, it was requested to finance committee that we have that number. And if you want to, we can wait till next finance committee to bring it back to us and it's something yeah. that we, so we can agree on it. Yeah. And, and ask him the same question too, is, is this considered public knowledge? Do we need to know that? Because if it is, because I have a feeling we get for it for it anyway. To, to what level? Yeah. Was, I don't think it would say where it, was, where it was spent and what it was spent on. I right. just, it's, just num it's just a number, you know, type of thing. And like I said, I think it's fair because this is all public here. And so I'm going to say, well, good, you know, you spent, here's, here's uh, 80, almost $90,000 you spent on, on a month right. for legal, which truly isn't all no. that. Correct. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think I'm asking a lot in, in terms of, of staff time, just a phone call and move on with it. Yeah. <laughs> Stan, do you have anything else? I think we need a, um, a, a motion to recommend the passage of the, unless you have more questions, I'm sorry. No, no, do we need to recommend the passage of this? Or we we that... need to, so okay. I'll, the, I'll, only, I'll... the only thing I'll say just before the recommendation is that second to last page there's another payment to RSH Construction Services for 899,000. Yes. That one was actually a reissue from the previous because they didn't. They said they didn't receive the check. Ah. We reissued and then they deposited the first check. 
so we had to cancel this one. You had to can <laughs> <laughs> so they found it. Yeah. I mean, it isn't often you lose a check for eight hundred thousand dollars or nine hundred thousand. Right. I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, it's okay. been a while. It's been a while on this. So these are these are. Um, Two week groups groupings of payments, correct? Correct. At a time. Yep. Okay. So yeah, that one I, I will need a recommendation for the board. Yeah, I, I move to recommend for passage of the uh, accounts payable. And of course, I'll second that approval. And you have to second it. Yes. Uh, and we and we and you and I have to approve it. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's all I need. You can do by that Monday. <laughs> yeah, it's approved. Yes. So, uh, all right. Future agenda items, anything you want to see on the agenda, Stan? Uh, uh, on future agenda items, is that what you're? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I noticed we didn't have the, uh, the rate study on our uh, agenda, which is fine, although I think for our actual meeting, we need an update on the notices being sent out. Uh, and have we com totally complied with everything associated with the uh, whatever the legal requirements were for the yeah it was uh, notices for public hearing the, the notices oh. are going out this week okay and yeah. so they all say uh, February 27th at 6 p.m. for the the public hearing um, Jim went through all the language it's all where it needs to be so yeah well uh, for now I don't think for our purposes it's not a big deal Monday at the actual staff or board meeting, if you could summarize what you just yeah. said. Yeah, I'll do that in my finance and, report. And um, oh, and this and the second thing. Oh, oh, also, have we got a the most current report on the internet so that when people get these notices, they can go on the internet and actually look at the report. I believe the final is, but I'll check and make sure. Okay. What day did you say for the public hearing? 27th of February. February, okay. So that's going to be a special meeting because we want to get this it'll, done, right? It'll have to be, yeah. Okay, we won't get it done in time. I'm sorry, I thought, I thought it was our, our, our February regular meeting we were going to... No, we couldn't make the deadline with mailing out all the notices, so it's a special meeting two weeks later. Oh, after the 13th is... Oh, right. because we didn't get the notices out in time? Yeah, we, we, we the time frame from approval to mailing them wouldn't okay. work. Okay, would you mailer. make sure that you're, that you're that everybody is clear on that at the mm -hmm. board meeting on Monday? Because I hadn't caught that. Oh, yeah. When I, when I looked at the schedule from our last board meeting, it looked like it was going to be part that of... That was the, the schedule, yeah, and I, and I made mention of that during the meeting, but it gets oh. lost with everything okay. else. And the, and the second thing is that typically we update the water, I think it's the water supply and operations manual to be consistent with the uh, uh, rate study. So we, we're going to need to start looking at that. Oh, yeah. Well, you, oh, yeah. You're talking about when the, the, the manual that has all the rates yeah. and the, the I mean, sales yeah. and service policy. Yeah. Sales yeah. and service policy. Yeah. yeah. It's one that we've been talking about. I think the entire too. thing has to be um, approved. Put and, in it, the and it'll be in that 27th meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I so think we, we first of all approve the rate study and then the next meeting we have the. Uh, I believe we do it the same meeting. They meeting okay. Well, in that case, we we're gonna we need to start discussing uh, that manual uh, fairly quickly. Why? What do you need on it? Because it's pretty much a it's, the it's just the pay, it's a the raise. Well, copy and paste the rate well, study. It, it should be except Don has some changes he wants to make. Yeah. And assuming that he gets out of limbo status, um, we we need to we need to understand what changes he needs to make. Yeah. Um, and and I'd like to see a com yeah a complete set of what those changes are. We, we usually have some minor changes, just some language that's usually come up over the years, and we usually say, well, when we do our next rate study, we'll make those changes in the manual. Right. So there's and things that so, happen during the year. You get you, yeah, you and they, the we go time. in and we redline it, and we yeah. we'll bring it to the board. I've never seen it as a really big, huge undertaking. As long as you, you keep up the one you have, like you say, on a regular mm -hmm. basis, then when we do the rate study, then you update everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Right. Except that Don wants to make some fairly yeah. significant changes. So yeah. uh, do we know what those are yet? Pardon? Does anybody know what those are? Well, I know there are a couple of smaller changes. I don't know anything significant. I don't know anything significant. Oh, that's why we need to have it at our next 
Um, yeah, I guess our next regular meeting, we ought to be able to discuss that at our finance meeting. Well, yeah, you can have it the next um, finance meeting. That is this month. meeting next month. If there is a change to it, but uh, I, I don't, you know, I don't know. Uh, I think that would, that's more admin exec though, because yeah. it's yeah, more it than it probably is. Too. Yeah, it is when it's because it is of some a policy type mm -hmm. procedural type manual. It's that admin exec. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, red line will probably go the next no. admin exec in okay. February. All right. Um, do you have anything? Uh, I'm sorry, Stan. Have anything else for future? Uh, uh, that's probably enough. Do we uh, want? Do we want to add the, the cost of adjudication as a future one if? You guys find out it's okay. That was when you talk to Jim and he gets a number and it, it can be a public. Code. Do we always want to add oh, that sure. as a future yeah. item for the finance committee so we can keep track of that? Yeah, sure, we can. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Long, long, like I said, as long as all this is public knowledge, it can be public like knowledge. It, you can still be on the agenda. Just yeah. we get to say at the agenda or in the next board, yeah. uh, the finance meeting saying that. You can't discuss it in, in open session. Yeah, if, if, if that's the case. Yeah, we just, uh, well, well, I, I, I don't see why the, in my opinion, I don't see why the cost, because it's on here, can't be, this is what it is. I can see where Jim could be concerned at, or oh, we're spending this much on this, this much on oh, this. Yeah, yeah, I, detail, right. yeah, you don't want that. But, but, but we do yeah. want to stop all of the it's all yes. Guessing or let's put a number and, out there. And, and yeah. all that, because yeah. that's not doing anybody any good. That's exactly right. Yeah. All right. Anything else from anybody? Is that it? Anybody on the line? The one on the line back there? Could it went longer there? than P&E. We went eight minutes on P&E. So. Oh, man. Oh, we're good. We're good, huh? I'm, 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 gosh, we went that long. Goodness gracious. Anyway, we're going to call the uh, meeting closed at, what is it, uh, 3.55? 56? I'm sorry, 2.56, yeah, sorry. All right, that's it.